Two sets of breaking news on Joe Biden. Number one, we're just now hearing from The Independent that apparently some top contributors to Joe Biden that were on a call with the Biden camp over this weekend expressed so many concerns about their support for Joe Biden that some of them apparently, and this is according to The Independent, allegedly started requesting refunds. Now, that's just one piece of the breaking news. We gotta talk about the governor call in just a moment. But think about this for a moment. The Biden camp is spinning this idea that they raised $33 million since the debate. But what they actually are saying when you look at the text of what they're releasing is since debate day, which means the vast majority of that money was probably raised before debate day. And there's a possibility they're now going negative on new commitments of money. In other words, people coming back and saying, I want some of my money back. This is not what I expected, not what I signed up for. I feel misled. That's scary for the Biden camp. And it's leading to the pressure that we're starting to see about this governor call. Consider this. Jake Tapper just broke that on a call with Democrats, governors expressed concern about what's going on with the president. This was a call with Democrats that was privately organized amongst Democratic governors. Uh, and they know, Jake Tapper says, they know if they come forward publicly with the concern, that likely will cause Biden to dig in more. So now instead, they're holding these sort of private discussions about, oh my gosh, what are we going to do about Joe Biden? And this makes sense because remember, the Democratic Party has an MO that's always, we will have a very unified front. Behind the scenes, they can grumble and mumble with the Pelosi's, with Schumer, with other Democratic governors. And this is common. Now, Jake Tapper's uh, discussion about this private call amongst governors was actually confirmed by the secretary of Phil Murphy. Governor Phil Murphy held a campaign fundraiser that was prearranged for Joe Biden this Saturday. And uh, supposedly they had dinner together and they discussed topics ranging from the economy to Ukraine, blah, 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 blah. Phil Murphy was on that call with Democrats. And see, what's interesting about this is they don't actually deny that Jake Tapper is alleging that some of the governors are concerned. This is just so you know to clarify. Mahin, gonna mess this name up, Gunaranta, nah. Anyway, communications director to Governor Murphy. And uh, they're confirming that the call occurred. They're also not countering that governors were concerned. They're simply saying, oh, no, 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 Biden was involved because there were some allegations that Biden's not involved. Where's Biden? We need to talk to Biden. And the communication secretary is like, no, 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 Biden's involved. He was talking about the economy at the dinner and Phil Murphy was on the call. So Biden's indirectly involved because, you know, Biden talked with Phil and Phil was on the call. So Biden's good. Well, apparently now so much pressure has mounted that an announcement just three minutes ago came in. Quote, Biden will meet with Democratic governors on Wednesday in the wake of his shaky debate performance last week per a White House official. Now, why is Wednesday so crucial? It comes just one day before July 4th. See, July 4th is Thursday, and I personally think there's a high likelihood if there's going to be a transition away from the Biden camp to another candidate, whether that's a Newsom-Harris ticket or Obama-Newsom ticket or whatever, if that's going to happen, July 4th would be a great day to do it because it's a patriotic day. And Biden could make the claim that I'm stepping down as part of my patriotic duty. Whatever, it's all part of marketing. The problem is they can't sort of pre-leak that Biden's going to step down or that these Democrats are getting on these calls going, we need a replacement, otherwise we're going to lose because then they won't have that unified front. So we're operating through leaks here. We're operating through speculation that softly gets confirmed. But the polls speak for themselves. Donald Trump is creaming Biden. And in all of the polls that have come out purely after the debate, the numbers look worse for Biden. There was a recent poll that got published on Real Clear Politics on July 1st that did indicate Biden beating Trump. But that poll took place on the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th, which means of the 1,200 people they surveyed, 67% of them probably submitted their survey results before the debate with the poll wrapping up on the last day. And we're being generous, assuming that the last day had an equal number of surveyed results as the two days prior. 
So I think what we're going to see is the betting odds are going to continue to move in Trump's favor the longer Donald Trump is fighting Biden. Donald Trump purposely switched to, oh yeah, Democrats should keep Biden. Biden is the Democrats' best chance because he knows it's not. He knows Biden is going to lose if he's against Biden. And I personally think Democrats need to realize that if Donald Trump wins because they put Biden against him, because they're too stubborn to change, same problem as what we saw in California, and then we got left with a crappier economy and a deficit in California. If Democrats are too stubborn to change here and pick a different viable candidate, then what's possible is that Trump could win. If Trump wins and the economy does not go into recession, which even let's call that a coin toss, call it 50-50, no recession under Trump, Republicans are likely able to go back and say, what do you want? No recession with Trump, other than obviously COVID, so overall good economy during COVID, overall good economy during Trump 2.0, do you want more of that or do you want the pain that you experienced during Biden 21, 22, 23? And of course, everybody's going to have their personal opinion on this. But let's just be real. A lot of people get pissed when businesses are having to finance at 7 to 10 percent interest rates. Home loans are 7.5 percent. Credit card rates, student loan rates, grocery price inflation, all these levels are high. Now, I'm not here to blame Biden. I'm not here to say this was fully Biden's fault. It wasn't. It was a bipartisan Congress. And also Trump is to blame for the inflation that we have but people felt it under Biden's watch. And so it's not a surprise to me now that Democratic governors are murmuring that we need a replacement option. Now, why would they? What incentive do Democratic governors have? Well, what do you think Democratic governors often end up becoming or at end up trying to go towards president? That's the next logical step. You go from like a mayoral role or a local role to uh, like San Francisco mayor and Gavin Newsom to governor of the state in Sacramento to running for president. In California, for example, you've got a national stage of over 40 million Californians. That's more than 10 percent of the population in America. So it's very common for governors to try to lead a very make no waves ship in California or another state so they could use a basic track record to get into the presidency. They don't want to go about in California causing massive change because if they make it oopsie doopsie, guess what happens? You end up not being able to run for president. Okay, so those are some things to consider regarding the governor call coming in. That's breaking news regarding the governor call. Uh, it's also worth noting that the uh, Donald Trump uh, uh, sentencing hearing will likely be delayed now that Trump is trying to appeal under an immunity basis. Not a surprise, though that is going to upset a lot of folks. Uh, this call regarding uh, the governors being on the call, again, confirmed by the communications uh, director of Phil Murphy, which is a big deal also because, again, it's more than speculation here, and they're not disputing that it's happening. So Biden will be speaking tomorrow with governors. I don't actually expect anything other than leaks really until Thursday. I think if a decision is made with governors and the Democratic Party and donors tomorrow, there's plenty of time to get a new campaign up and running in the 24 hours thereafter for an evening announcement on July 4th. This is my speculation, but I think it's exactly what needs to happen because it's very clear that right now we have a teleprompter president. We have a president who has early stages of dementia, who can't remember, who gets frustrated when he can't remember. And unfortunately, when he has verbal cues, cue cards or a teleprompter, he could seem normal. But that disguises the truth. Anyway, if you like this, make sure to follow for more. Hit that subscribe button, share the video, and we'll bring you more updates as they come. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and good luck.